What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video here on the channel. I do truly hope you all are having wonderful days. And if you are, be sure to leave a comment below just saying what made it so dang beautiful. Anyways, you all know what you are here for. You've seen the title, the thumbnail, possibly the, the preview before the video and you know you don't know if you want to click on it. The memes on Twitter, your dad, your mom, your pet dog, you've seen it all. Today we are here for Forza Motorsports 7's first speed glitch. Now, to get things going, this speed glitch works on any and every single vehicle in the game. Now, take that with a grain of salt, I have not yet tested electric or hybrid vehicles. I I guess LaFerrari is a hybrid vehicle. Well, it sort of works on the LaFerrari, spoiler alert, but this glitch does work better on certain cars than on others. So I'll leave a pinned comment on electric vehicles, but hybrids aren't the best. I'd recommend something such as a Lamborghini Centenario, V12s, you know, V8s, that kind of thing. Just a standard motor. Now, in this speed glitch, you will be able to achieve speeds of over 500 miles per hour and 900 kilometers an hour. So, almost crossing the quad digit mark with this speed glitch. I can't imagine any more being in the game, and this will most likely be patched. So, everybody, go ahead and try it out while you can. To get this glitch, go ahead into the upgrade shop, and you want to fully upgrade the thing. Now later you will see a Skyline GTR R34, but currently we are working on the La Ferrari. And what I did is I just upgraded everything. Now there aren't too many options for upgrades, but I would recommend all-wheel drive swapping the car. When the car is all-wheel drive, it's much easier to control at high speeds. If you just keep it rear-wheel drive, like what you'll see in a little bit, it's very hard to control at speed and you end up spinning out, you know, 85% of the time. I would recommend trying all-wheel drive and rear-wheel drive because this glitch really doesn't take very long to do, and uh, it's fun, you might as well experiment both ways, you know? So for this glitch, what you will need, you 100% need, is an upgraded transmission. You need a race transmission. Now, if you do have extra money, you know, I mean, a transmission only costs a couple thousand, but if you have a very low budget, go ahead and upgrade that. If you have more, fully upgrade the car, you can see on the skyline, I'm pushing like 900 horsepower, it's all-wheel drive, all of that stuff, we've got the full 9 yards, so go ahead and build it to the highest horsepower and the highest drivetrain possible. Suspension and all that stuff is your preference, so if you like riding stock for whatever reason, you can keep it stock, but I would recommend fully upgrading everything. The next step in this glitch is to get the race set up. So simply head over to free play and you will start a race on Le Mans. Now the old Molsen circuit, excuse my pronunciation, that is the longest straight in the game under the Le Mans tab. If you simply hit X over Le Mans and head to the third option, that is the longest straight in the game. Now I do want to add that this glitch does also work on every other circuit as long as it is not a drag strip. Now unfortunately this does not work on the drag strips, that would be hecka sick, but unfortunately that's just not an option for us at the moment. Now if the game does get updated in the future it could possibly work, but currently it is only on circuits. Now one very important thing is the assist. What I would recommend is traction and stability control off. You also need to run friction assist off, this will help you actually accelerate rather than the car losing revs. I'd also recommend keeping the driving line on, this will help you stay in a straight line because if you do get all wobbly on the track, you will kind of lose uh, the effect of the glitch essentially. Now for this glitch you do need to run manual, if you don't know how to shift it's super easy. Once you get into clutch it gets a little more complicated, but it's very simple to shift in just manual. You simply just hit B to shift up, and well, you really only need to shift up, so just hit B. Simple as that. Now, boys, there is one very simple thing you'll need to do, and that is to simply load into a test drive. Now, this glitch unfortunately does not work in a regular race because you cannot modify your tune. So what you're going to do is load up Lama, you're going to hit continue, and then from there, once you load in, simply head over to test drive. The reason we are using test drive opposed to a regular race is because you can modify your tune, your assists, everything. And I mean everything can be modified in test drive, which is very cool. 
So we are now here at the final step in this tutorial. Simply head over to your tuning setup and go to gearing. Now as I did mention, you need an upgraded transmission. So what you're going to do is set the final drive to roughly 450. Now there are a couple of other simple modifications to the tune I would highly recommend. One of these is removing all negative camber. One of these is removing all negative camber. The negative camber makes it very hard to control the car at top speed. Now it's not too bad if it has, you know, maybe 2 degrees negative camber tops, but if you're rocking some drift car with negative 5 front and rear, it's going to be very difficult to turn at high speeds. So once you've made your way all the way to the straight, you are simply going to drive down it, shifting through gears using B if you are a noob. Now I would recommend driving all the way down until the large curve. There is a very large curve, you will not miss it. I would recommend staying as close as possible to the driving line. You will see why in just a moment, but drive all the way down until the large curve. So once you get to the large curve in the road, you're simply going to hit start pausing your game and head down to the tune setup. From here, you're going to want to enter your gearing and change the final drive as low as it goes. You don't have to mess with the gears themselves, but just the final drive. From here, you will save the tune setup by hitting A, and then you will back out. But be sure not to exit the pause menu. Instead of backing out all the way into the game where you can drive around, you're simply going to scroll back down to rewind. So that may be a little confusing, I will play that again for you here. So once you have reverse from the pause menu directly after editing the tune, you are safe to hit Y as many times as you like. I would recommend hitting Y as many times as possible, the game does cap you at 5 or 6 rewinds, and you know that's to keep races fair and whatnot. So once you've rewind all the way, just hit A and your car will rev to oblivion. If you do enter the telemetry, your car is capped at 10,000, and the wheel speed is upwards of 16,000 miles an hour. Obviously your car is not going to move 16,000 miles an hour, but the wheel speed is 16,000. Now, as I did mention earlier, this glitch does work better on some cars rather than others. You can see that the limo, as well as the Ferrari, La Ferrari, they were both really garbage at this glitch. In fact, the Unicorn wasn't that great either. As opposed to the Mercy Lago, which is going 500 miles an hour. My speed is in miles an hour here. The footage earlier, courtesy of my friend the Racing Monkey in the Blue Centenario, that was in kilometers and it was at 900. So what you're seeing right now is miles an hour. And uh, you can see with the rear wheel drive cars, it just really doesn't work. If you can control this car with over 16,000 miles an hour at the wheels, I mean, good for you, but I can't, so I am staying with all-wheel drive. Now boys, I do truly hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new. I do truly appreciate all of you who did spend your day watching this tutorial, and if you are hearing what I'm saying right now, be sure to let me know down in the comment section that you stayed till the end of the video. I do appreciate it. I do also read and respond to every single comment left on the channel, so please be sure to, you know, ask me a question or something. I, I do look at those. Anyways, boys, I'll see you next time. I hope you truly enjoyed. Peace out and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.